Hey, Rangi here. Should we play a game? That's right. Look nervous, red shirts. We're playing some more um, FTL. What are we gonna call this one? How can we? Oh, 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 oh! I got it. Yep. That that that'll bode well. Got one achievement. Oh, oh, there's two more. Okay. Um. <laughs> well. <laughs> That, put, that puts you in the wild card position, I'm afraid. I hope that, I hope that goes well for you. Um, okay, so we've got two more achievements we can get for this. Six unique aliens, okay. That'd be pretty neat if we could get like um, a yeah, big crew. 11 systems. I don't think that means weapons necessarily. I think that means just sort of anything you can put in these. All right, so yeah, let's get started. This time I'm gonna try and not be so cocky. Uh, okay, we don't want to jump straight to the exit. <laughs> oh, I understand that reference. I understand that reference so bad. Oh, okay, right. Power pull systems. This guy looks pretty weak. Let's go straight for shields. And then, as soon as the missile takes down the shields, we then follow up with a volley on the weapon system. The usual, the usual. It's almost refreshing to see only one level of shields and something. Okay. Yep. That's that weapons offline. And they are basically defenseless. They're probably going to try and get the shields back online, but. I'll have another volley by then. There we go, we're almost done. Oh, they, they actually managed to repair it a stage while I was shooting at it. That's actually quite impressive. There's a two there, is it? Oh, okay, that's how many shots are going to be fired on that thing. Wait, how did they get the shields back up? Hell yeah, hell yeah, we've got tons of resources from that. Very nice. Okay, we're not going to go this way because it kind of like, you know, we'd have to come back on ourselves. So instead, actually, we'll go this one and then kind of through there. Yeah, and we can kind of root away around there. Okay. I feel like the later um, sectors might um, might have a um, sort of like a, a faster sort of wall of death coming from the side. I don't took any damage, did they? No, good. Forgot to check. Same as usual. Shield. You have the shields. Go the weapons. Now, this Ion Storm might mean that we lose our shields or something, which would be bad. Oop, not too bad. Oh yeah, we lost our shields, how about that? But they lost their weapons entirely, so let's, let's keep hammering on those on those shields and make sure they can't get them back up. Annoyingly. Oh, there we go. We managed to do three um, points of damage, I thought we were only going to do two. An idea I just had, but it's a terrible idea and I'm not going to do it, is um, if you power down the engines you can put more power to everything else. But that doesn't make any sense because it means your evasion goes down. Okay. Let's go to the stress beacon, see what's going on here. Oh, this is one you do not ever want to say yes to. Um, I've done this one before. It's like um, a station being overrun by giant spiders. The rewards are fantastic if it pays off, however, it usually doesn't and you usually end up... Um, uh, losing crew. Oh, a store. Uh, let's go to the store first of all, just see if we can grab any chief upgrades and maybe a crew member. Hell yeah! Let's grab some crew. Um, uh, yeah, but you really, really don't want to take that chance. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can aim for that achievement where you have all of the um, all of the alien species on board. So. Start with you, and that's all of my money gone. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe this game. I, I, like, in the first sector, it's like, yeah, yeah, just hand some new crew over to slavers. And I'm like, what? You can't be serious. Like, who would ever do that? You, man the shields. 
But again, like I can imagine like someone who was just starting out in this game in the first sector would, would do that. Like, oh, well, I guess that's a fair trade. In fact, it's the first option as well. What? You know what? That's actually worth it. Crew members are so damn good in this game that, like, it's... Maybe, yeah. But, um, crew members are so damn good in this game that is, like, I wouldn't normally accept, like, an offer, but being off with a crew member is, is worth taking. It's, it's such a big deal. Right. So like not only are they, you know, I mean, you saw back there that they're worth anywhere between 45 to 50 um, scrap, which you wouldn't normally get for destroying a ship, but you only get limited opportunities to acquire them. Okay, let's attack the ship. They have no shields! What? Bro! Now, so it's quite funny, though, it's a scout ship, yeah, it doesn't actually have a crew, and you can see there's no auction on it, but it still has computers for some reason. Okay, the weapons are down. This is an easy encounter. I like it. Oh yeah, it helps if you actually return fire, doesn't it? Yeah, just a thought. Yeah, I'm not wasting a missile on this because there's no shields to um, work my way through. There we go. Send these two guys to go. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Hey! More weapons! Hell yeah! And let's power up my bay. And where, where did you come from? You came from the engine room and you came from the weapons room. Come back. And remember to save the positions. Excellent. Yes, this guy I've currently got on the, um, the security cameras. I'm, I'm probably going to use him as like a wild card, someone who can move around to repair things as they get damaged. These guys are not great in combat, but they're very good at repair. Hmm. I do want more weapons power. We might be able to sell that, to be honest, if... Uh... Yeah. We might end up selling that just because it's going to be hard to get the upgrades needed to actually power it. Oh, this one's got a uh, cloaking system. Cool. Oh, I haven't got enough system power to power up my second lasers. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, we can't prepare our weapons while they're cloaked. Oh, that's bad. You, go help out with that. So aim at that. Back to stations. I I don't know if they can I don't think they can continue powering up the weapons while they're cloaked. Yeah, you good for that? Not much. Probably not worth doing really. Okay, so. We want to head for this. So we have go this way, we can kind of like arc around the back here and spend as much time in the sector as possible. Oh, okay, free money, I'll take it. Right, I can jump to the store and then jump back that way. Okay, yeah, I'll, do, I'll take the chance. If nothing else, we can repair the hull. Oh, that hurts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. we can sell on these burst lasers. And then we can buy another crew member. The one who's really good at combat. And then, there's no confirmation steps in this. It's kind of surprising. Yeah, full repair. Full repair. And we've got an extra crew member. Right, I'm going to send you. You can go in there, I guess. Actually, I'm going to swap this guy and this guy around. Because uh, this I want repairing immediately if it goes down. Whereas this guy, he can be like uh, a rise in there. And our eyes and our fists.
Uh oh. The exit's about to get hard to get to. I might have. I might have gotten a bit cocky here. Okay, what do we have here? Is that a, that's a repair drone? Okay. Yeah, so let's do tons of damage. Come on, let's go. I was sure that I never healed up um, uh, how was I though, but See, already paying dividends. Already paying dividends. The guys are just straight on it, straight on it. And we want to keep well on this guy because he's, he's uh, charging up his his um He's indeed charging up his uh, FTL drive, so we want to make sure he can't use that. Oh, nice, nice job, new new crew, new crew member. Oops, this isn't good. This isn't good. I'm missing too much. I'm surprised this like drone hasn't done much. Is this just an anti-drone drone, or is it an anti-missile drone as well? Yes. Uh oh, this isn't good. Right, we need to make sure we're fully prepped before we go anywhere near this. So, let's take our two injured crewmen, let's get them healed up. All power the engines, return to stations. Everything's as good to go as it can be. Right, so we're gonna be jumping behind enemy lines at this point, so this could be, this could be, hor this could be horrific. So yeah, we've actually got a pretty nasty encounter here. This guy has two levels of shield. And the fleet is going to be attacking us at the same time. We might die here right now. I might have just destroyed a, you know, a pretty good start by being a bit cocky and trying to go for too many, um, <laughs> too many locales in the first sector. Oh no, he's got two. Oh no, that's not good. Oh my god! We're dying. Right, you two in there, fix that right now. Oh my god! Oh my god, one of my crewmen just died. Oh my god, oh my god, this is bad. Um, yeah, um, I just got everyone killed by going one step too far in the wrong direction. That's totally on me. Um, yeah, there's basically nothing I can do here. There's just too much going on. We don't have enough upgrades. Damn. Well. Um. <laughs> any of a, um. <laughs> any of a great names we can come up with uh, for our Doom Cruise? <laughs> That was, that was totally on me, that really was. Okay, that's a store, that's great, but we need to go somewhere else first to get some cash to actually spend. So let's loop around there and around there. My God, that was so stupid of me. How did I... Okay, power up. Yeah, what this guy is. Oh, this guy's gonna put us under a lot of pressure. He's got drones, gonna be basically dropping our shields. It's got only a single laser, but that's, you know, if we combine with the fact that they're going to be dropping a shield, it could be pretty painful. We just want to get rid of them. Oh no, come on. Oh, the drone isn't actually powerful to take down the shields. Uh oh. Ah! But they've taken down their weapons. Or done something to them. Oh, oh, that's not good. Um. You, Jill, go pull out that fire. Oh no, she's locked in the room. Oh, this is this is not good at all. Um, oh, it's draining the charge on the weapons as well. My God, this is a brutal first encounter. What the hell? And then he boosts away before I can... Oh, come on! The guy boosts away before I get any spoils right before, and then like... Man, that's a rough start.
music's all sort of happy and yeah, let's go explore space, but I'm getting like utterly destroyed here this morning. God damn. I guess it's one of the things about RNG is that you never quite know what's going to happen first. Well, at least we didn't take too much permanent damage there. Oh, it's going to be annoying. We're going to be passing right by a store at the start of the game with no money. Okay, these guys shouldn't run at least, so... Uh, that's not a transporter, that's a cloning system that can use to heal themselves. Okay, they're going to get the first shot. But, we actually hit them and they didn't hit us, so that's a plus. Oh, they're... Okay, the FTL's delayed. They've taken someone, say, off the helm to go do some repairs. This actually bodes well for us. It means that they can't just run away with our money. And then, let's go for the weapons next. Man, they're repairing their shields fast, especially given they keep hammering them. Okay, we got a nice easy encounter for the second one. Oh, damn! What the heck is that? We should be able to trade that for a lot of money in the store anyway. Okay, um... That laser isn't really useful for, to us because we don't, you know, we'd need like free energy to power it plus something to bring the shields down. Maybe we could swap across to it if we took the shields down, but like... Yeah, it could take a long time to charge up, so... Let's focus on the... Actually, they've got like... That's like some kind of laser or something. So I probably want that taking down. Yeah, a combat, if they manage to drop our shields with that and then hit our um, actual systems with that, that could be pretty brutal. Let's just power up the engines to full. Okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. We're happy with that. Okay, they've just sent someone in to power up the weapons, I think. But we want to keep the shields down, because if we can do one more volley, it should finish them off. And they'll be powering up their, their weapons from scratch. They won't have time. There we go, good. Heck yeah! Let's go to the store. Let's go spend our ill-gotten gains. Oh, a Zoltan. We can get, get one of those here. Cool. I think the... I think the um, crew names might have been Kickstarter names. Uh, let's sell that because we're not going to have an opportunity to use that for a long time. So this guy's... Don't these guys have like some kind of special ability? Yeah, that's right. They, they can like um, provide additional power to whatever system they're on. We'll buy one of those. Um, fix, I guess, and leave some money in the bank. Okay, so I guess we can put this guy in the shields, right? And now we have a third level of shields, I think. Oh yeah, that's basically giving us a free energy that we can put somewhere else. Very nice. And another store! Oh, I wish I'd known, I would save the money up. Should have gone on the lower route, I won't be able to buy anything here. Okay, let's see what we could have won. Oh, there wasn't much here anyway. Okay, we need to start moving on that exit because it's actually quite a few jumps away. Okay, we've got a small quest here, let's just jump to it. Don't get these very often. Okay, we had the opportunity there to steal some fuel, and I just said no, because we're meant to be the good guys, damn it. Okay. Let's rescue the ship from the rebels.
Uh, oh, they've got a transporter. That's not good. Let's focus on causing some damage. Maybe they'll beam their people back. Okay. If they damage that, we can't open the doors to vent, like, say, fire, but that's about as bad as it's going to be. Okay, we did some good damage there. Let's keep the, let's keep the pressure on. ASP target lock. What's ASP? Oh! The planet has a uh, anti-ship battery, okay. The planet itself is attacking us. Oh, that was nasty. Okay, we really want that fixing ASAP. Who do I send there? Um, I think in the engine technician. Let's rush a bit and use the missiles that we were going to save. Okay, sorted that out. Um, let's get the oxygen uh, breach fixed as soon as possible. Hell yeah, we've got a ton of uh, resources for that. Okay, we really need the oxygen breach fixing. This guy... Wait, this guy really needs help, so let's go sort that out. Oh my god, this is actually getting pretty tight. Uh, you guys, um, go help out with that. Oh my god, we're taking an absolute pounding here. Right. We can't really afford to stay in orbit with this planet, we're taking an absolute beating. Come back to stations. I guess we go there and pray that we have a good opportunity to just take a moment to pause and get everything back in line. Okay, we can take on a small scout ship. Even in a not so great state. Take down the shields, take down the weapons. Yeah, this, this small scout ship should be fine and it'll give us, um, once we've beaten it, it should give us an opportunity to um, sort everything out of the next sector. Why are the doors on a ship that has no people? That's so strange. I, I, I guess the maintenance crew can work on it. I don't know. But the ship repairs itself. Why would it need... <laughs> Why would it need them? Okay, yeah, this has been a really good opportunity just to patch her. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't end up with like a, a difficult sector next. And we got some nice money from that. Okay, that was okay. Okay, Zoltan, you go fix that. You guys go fix that. You go fix yourself. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. The reason they weren't healing wasn't that they didn't need healing. It was that they <laughs> hadn't powered up the med bay. Oh, my God. You and you go fix that. I hope we get to a store next pretty soon so we can patch up this whole damage. It's making me nervous. Okay. Oh, having the Zolt in the med bay powers us up. That's kind of cool. Everyone back to stations. I need to actually set your station. There we go. And we're all prepped. Exit. Sometimes you get stores on the exit. Okay, we come across... Uh, uh, do we have any extra explosives? So we could actually offer to solve the problem by launching a missile. Um, it doesn't say we're going to launch one, it says we're going to offer. And it's blue, which usually means it's good, right? 
<laughs> well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. We have certain protocols for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our minds isn't exactly what they would call union-friendly. <laughs> okay, yeah, we traded five missiles for a reactor upgrade. That's actually, that sounds kind of bad, but it's actually pretty good because reactor upgrades are hard to come by. We, that, with our Zoltan, that means we're actually pretty good in terms of energy. Which way do we go? Because like, this is a split over the whole map. Looks like a fish, doesn't it? Um, we have to go Engi Controlled, or we go Uncharted Nebula. Honestly, looking at them, like, yeah, there's more civilian sectors on this branch. It makes more sense to go north, I think. Okay, what do we have here? We've got plenty of well spot here. Yeah, there's no kind of like obvious sort of traps looking at the map. Ah, it was a Mantis ship um, posing as Engi. Yeah, the Engi ships are weird. They're kind of like space donuts. We have intruders on board. Um, let's take down the shields. And then, what kind of... Okay, yeah. Let's focus on the drone instead because there's a good chance it'll block our missiles. Well, that's not good. That's not good. We need to send in some assistance to that guy because... A one-on-one -on -one fight with a Mantis is a death sentence. They do a lot of damage. That guy needs help fast. Okay, done, 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 done. Uh, yeah, let's wait for that guy to heal up. And then... <laughs> they disabled a the system in the room that doesn't even have one. Great work, guys. Okay, the drone is down. We should never go for the shields. Now go repair that. Oh, that's not good. Fire out. Oh dear, this is, this is getting pretty tight, actually. Yeah, I've learned the hard way that venting the ship to put out fires is actually not a good idea, generally. It works, but you also tend to um, put yourself at risk because you know, you're, losing, you're losing that kind of oxygen supply as reserve. Okay. Get everything back online. And that whole deficit is starting to look a bit worse, isn't it? It's getting tight. Okay, everything's all good. Oh, actually, no, no, they're injured and they need healing. <laughs> now everything's good. Ooh, a store. Yes, help. Let's go to the store. See what we can buy with our 106 scrap. Okay, we can get some staff. That'd be good. Yeah, let's, let's get some staff. Let's, again, aim for that um, six unique species achievement. And let's buy some missiles. We definitely need missiles. What? How many stores? Like, what is this? The bloody merchant district. I, I want to avoid going to them because it's a waste of a jump. Oh, okay. So we can either booby trap the cache, which will presumably slow down the advance, or we can secure it. Ah! We've got something we can trade. Very nice. Hmm, which way are we going to go? That's kind of annoying. So if I go, if I go to the right, I'm not going to have many jumps before. Oh, actually, I can get four in. That's probably enough. That's a good point. Maybe we should go bank robbing. I hadn't considered that. Oh, it's only a few jumps away. He says, pointing us to like the opposite end of the map. I don't think I can get there and back. I'm, I'm not going to risk that. 
Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I cannot get all the way. Yes, one, two, three, four. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jumps in the time of that. That's, that's not doable. I'm not going to risk it. Nothing here. Strange bug. Can you assist in debugging? It's going to be a mantis, isn't it? Hmm. Found malfunctioning mantis. Believes this is human. Will receive input only from human. Okay. Let's choose this one. Oh, okay, so we're taking the mantis who thinks this is human home. And we can offer him a position on the ship. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Run away, run away, baby! So, human, Zoltan, um, Engi, mantis, that's four. What were the other two? You got slugs. Oh, I think rock. Rock is the other one. Yeah, we're gonna probably have a, a tough time getting getting rock. Should we explore the asteroid field? Hell yeah! That would have been one to skip if our hole was low, but it wasn't. Okay. Let's destroy this guy. He's in, wait, wait, he's only got a laser. He doesn't have any means of actually dropping our shields unless they plan on beaming people aboard. But we've got a mantis, we're ready for them. They've only got humans, we'll beat them in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What are they doing? So, oh no, a human. I have a mantis who thinks he's human. Look, that beam weapon cannot penetrate our shields. Like, if they beamed that guy into the shield room and dropped our shields, that would actually make a lot of sense. That'd be a good strategy, but that's not what they did. Good work, Mantis. Rip and tear until it is done. Seven missiles is pretty good. Let's keep, let's keep blowing them up, why not? They, they can't harm us. I think that's so funny. It would be interesting to see like a more like a game built exactly with this um, format, but more sort of open world. So you could do things like burgle. Well, we got a lot of money from that. So want, let's go to the rock sector. We might be able to <laughs> we might be able to hire Dwayne Johnson if we're lucky. Okay, let's go there. Um, if we go to well-connected sectors, we might be able to reveal like um, stores and things. Okay, that wasn't a bad exchange. Hey, yeah, a store. Let's see if we can hire a rock or a slug or both. That'd be fantastic. Mm, nope. We've got some more weapons, but we can't do anything with them. That's quite expensive given what these are. 15% is not a lot. Let's just buy those. Got plenty of fuel. Um, let's go this way. Okay, yeah, we defended a ship by sending our shields around them. Oh, we took some damage. Um, everyone, actually, you guys, crowd in there and fix that. Your reward is if you fix it, it'll <laughs> undo the damage I just made you do to yourselves.
Okay, where else can we go? Where are we gonna go next? I think we sort of go south and see if there's anything interesting down there. We're not doing a great job here of actually picking up um, resources we're going to need to take on the final boss. I hope we'll do a bit better than this later on in the run. That's a big missile launcher. This guy's got two levels of shields, so we really, really want that down. Um, this might be one that's better to run from. I try and avoid that because it's a wasted jump, but... What is that? That looks massive. It's so much bigger than our missile launcher. Oh, that wasn't good. We missed with a missile. Woo! Okay, you get healed up. You man the, uh, you man that. In fact, you go and help him out because he's, he's a mantis. He's got like mantis hands and he's trying to do repair. Oh man, what? We need those shields back up now. We'll hold off on the burst laser until we've like used the missiles to drop their shields. Because... Oh god, that's not good. Well, that didn't take down the shields, but we can follow up with a. Okay, yeah, we did. We did some damage there. That's good. That's good. Okay, you guys get healed up. You go down there to mount the shields. <sighs> that Man, look at the size of that missile. That's terrifying. Okay, um, what are we going to put pressure on now? Weapons. Go for the weapons. Okay, that should stop them attacking for a bit. Let's hope they can get their shields back up. You guys go help with that. Okay, that's good. We've kept their shields down. Whew! That got a bit tight there. I like the way the rocks um, speak in broken English. Alien vessel, cease your attack, we will pay. We will not accept surrender. Take their scrap. We are pirates! Okay, everyone's okay. Whew! We have a lot of money at least, just know where to spend it. Okay, so we can either like continue around here. Actually, there's enough sectors here that we can we can jump around. That's no problem. I think we take the low route here. <laughs> you encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock crew member explains that the home the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda to keep the populace in check, and they want no part of it. Tell them, you can tell them that their god sent them here to join your crew. I promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. Hmm. What do we go for? Because even one of those could be, a, could be a bust. We could either end up with a... Uh... Ah, no. No, we chose wrong. Well, again, these guys have got double shields. This is quite painful to deal with. Okay, we hit them. Good, 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 good. Keep wailing. Yes, yes, the shields are down. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Actually, we can probably hit the crew if we aim for the shields now. Okay, now we go for the weapon systems because that whatever that thing is, it's doing a oh damn it, it's doing a lot of damage. That thing is brutal. What is that? Oh come on! These guys are great at dodging. Man, maybe going to the rock sector was a bad idea. I'm starting to get that impression. Oh, oh, that was good, that was good, that was good, that was good. Oh! Weapons then! 
Uh, you get in there and help that guy. My god, we're taking an absolute beating here. Might go back to that store just to... Oh, look, I love the way the rocks bend up and down to put fires out. That's adorable. Terrifying, but also adorable. Okay. Home system's coming back online. We're starting over from scratch with the shields, but... But... You get there and repair that. You too. But we've done a ton of hull damage, so if we can just get the shields down, we'll probably... Do we accept their offer? Yes, actually. I can't afford more hull damage. <gasps> Never store! Never store! Hell yeah! Oh, no, no crew again. So we can fix ourselves up, buy a few missiles. And then, we can buy an upgrade of some kind. Cloaking system isn't as great as it sounds. I mean, it's, it's pretty good, but you can't, um... You can use it as an opportunity to sort of heal up and stuff, but you can't fire on it unless you buy a second upgrade, which is actually quite expensive. I don't really want the drone control. I mean, I, I could. Actually, it does include the drone, and I do have spare energy. Okay, fine, you twisted my arm. So if we drop the power to that while we're not using it... Huh? Why can't we power this up? Oh, there's no enemy ship. <laughs> Why can't I aim at the enemy ship that isn't there, he says. Alright, everyone back to the stations, and then they're injured, go to the, go to the med bay, top them back up. Okay, so now we can, yeah, we can kind of like take a bit of a meandering path to the exit. Hopefully get some good stuff on the way. Uh-oh. You know what? Our combat drone will drop their shields a bit here and actually put them in a lot of trouble. And it might also give us the one level of like, um, shield drop we need to get through with the burst lasers. So this isn't actually the end of the world, even though our shields are, you know, being compromised. Okay, you go help out with that. I need to see what's going on in the other rooms in this place. Keep those shields down. Ooh! That's a lot of damage. Um, go for the weapons next. Yes! Whew, okay. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse, but we took a lot of damage during that. Fortunately, our shields will keep recovering at this point, so we're pretty safe. Let's power up our med bay. Back to stations. Go! Whew, that could have gone a lot worse. That could have gone a lot worse. Okay, we're going to sort of loop around there like that. Oh my god, free rock is not good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put people in there. Right? And then, I'm going to vent the... I'm going to vent this out into space and hopefully do a ton of damage that way. Vent faster, damn it! Oh, thank god he did something stupid rather than like, you know, trying to get through the... <laughs> the one door that would have, um, got him into an oxygenated room. Okay, well, be careful here. If that guy busts through that door, this room will deoxygenate, and Bigby here is not particularly strong. So if I send them like to here as kind of like a 
Yeah, if we mass our crew in this room, they can fight back if they break through. But if they don't, they'll, um, yeah, they'll... Oh, oh, he just broke right through, okay. Oh yeah, because I'm not longer mining that console. Right, got it. Oh yeah, see, four or more massacring them. And the constant damage they're being done while they're in there is, is good too. Okay, I'm going to get that guy out of there because I just don't want him stuck in the room with the um, with the fire while oxygen's running out around him. Okay. Okay, we've repelled the borders. That's good. Let's close all the doors. Actually, accept that one. I can't keep that one closed just so the fire goes out. Close all the doors. Send all the wounded straight to the sick bay. You go repair that. Um, yeah, you go repair that too. It's not your best role, but he's doing. Maybe actually we should be repairing the... Oh, actually they were just in the right place at the right time. Um, you guys can go repair the helm because we need to get out of here before the fire damages the ship completely. Then everyone back to stations. In the meantime, the injured go straight to sick bay. Good jump! Okay, yeah. Let's go this way. That worked out pretty good. Find disabled rock transport beacon. We can strip the ship or leave it alone. Okay, good. That paid off. We can go have a look at this and see how the fleet's advancing. We might be able to get one more jump in, but I doubt it. Uh-oh. Oh, this guy's only got one level of shield. Let's just destroy this dude. Combat drone. Everything go. Everything go. They're gonna fire first. Okay. Oof, we got we got off lucky there. Okay, we've got a Rangi guy straight on the oxygen, that's good. Oh, they took down a drone they took down the drones. Okay, that's actually kind of lucky because like we can still do damage. Yeah, if nothing else, we've got like options. You know, if they take out one system, we can still attack them with another. So that's back up. We can now send him over there to get that up and running. You too. We've lost visibility of their inside of the ship, but that doesn't really matter. We know what we know what condition the systems are in, which is what really matters. If we keep their shields down. When the drone comes back online, it should kick their asses. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Let's get the injured healed up. And back to exploring. Um, I'm not going to risk uh, getting beaten up by the, you know, we're on low health, so let's not... Oh no, this is not good. Intruders, and and we have a mantis being brainwashed. That ain't good. That is not good. Yeah, because uh, right. So these these ships are, have got like hella strong shields. So he's got two levels and then an overshield, I think. Is that what the Vulcan shield is? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Well, at least he's only attacking a minor system. This is going to be one we run away from, I think. This isn't true as detected, but I think I'll... I don't see any. Okay, we can't do anything to speed up the engines, can we? Um, 
Let's just go for those shields anyway, just in case, you know, just in case like something goes wrong with the engines. Oh, that's right. Yeah, their, their shield blocks missiles. That's what, that's what it does. That's a special effect. Go, go fix what you broke, Mantis. I'm very disappointed in you. Should have left you on that rock, huh? Oh, oh, actually, we might be doing pretty, good, pretty well here. Oh, why didn't I power up the combat drone? That would have made sense. Oh, good, good. That re that'll reduce our maneuverability. It means we can really wail on the shields and stop them bringing them back up. Oh, nice shot, combat drone. Nice shot. Hell yeah! Whew. Bit touch and go there, but that was okay. Let's get everything repaired and ready to go. Oh, I've already got the injured people in the sick bay. That worked out. I think. No. Oh, yeah. Whew. That could have gone a lot worse. Yep, yeah, it looks like I picked the right time to do it. It advances a lot quicker than I realized. Uh oh. Mantis sector. Ensure your hull is up to scratch, and I'm like, I have like a third of it left. I need to get out of here. Okay, man, there's not a lot of like, if I go to there, that, that'll, yeah, if there's a store here, we'll probably find it. We do not, we do not engage with alien spiders. Yes! Store! Yes! Do not engage with alien spiders. Okay. Um, fix everything. That's a big, that's a big deal. Um... Well, that could have been pretty good. A 30 second boost doesn't actually sound like that big of a win, really. That isn't that useful because you can just pause and have a heal generally. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass on all of those. I'm just happy to have my hull, hull repaired. Oh, no intruders. Anyway, uh, Mantis, you go in there. You go in there. And then... We're going to vent the ship to space. Oh, they, they went straight in. You go hide in there with that guy. And vent all this as well. Leave them nowhere to go. Okay, these two guys... Actually, I want to keep them in there. I want to keep the doors uh, on lockdown. I'll keep this guy in here on standby just so they can move into the room together. Put these guys together as well. Okay. I'm actually going to swap the Zoltan out for the humans. I think humans have slightly better hand-to-hand -hand than Zoltans. Guys going going for our oxygen, that could be a real problem. Okay, get out of there, because he's about to die anyway. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving this combat situation. Oh wait, there's no air, okay. What was their plan? They were going to take down the oxygen unit, and there's no ship for them to beam back to. I mean, like, are they just going to die, I guess? Okay, everything's coming back online. Good. Well, I don't want to waste the experience. I'm actually wondering whether I should swap around this guy. We're, um, I'm going to have him on shields instead. And have Zoltan on... Um, because now from back home. Hmm. Actually, it's the oxygen you really want to keep up, isn't it? The oxygen's a real problem if it goes down. 
Just thinking out loud, whether it might make more sense to have the Zoltan and say drones so that I could spend the energy elsewhere. But you're getting it for free with the shields anyway, it doesn't make a difference. There's no win if you move them. Right, okay. So that's about the worst I think a boarding is likely to get here. I mean like yeah, if there's no if there's no ship so, boarding's only really a problem if there's a ship supporting them because you know you have to deal with two problems at once. Let's go this way. Okay, they have a teleporter. And they have three levels of shield! Damn! That's a lot of shields! Okay, we might not really have the means to get through that, to, you know, to work our way through the shields. I'm gonna have you go straight onto that, because I think they're gonna beam aboard almost immediately. Yep, they are. Oh, but straight into the room I'd use to lock down the shit and lock down the doors. Okay, you go in there, and then we're gonna vent that entire section. Oh wait, there's only one of them. Didn't realize. Okay, who can I send in there to help? I don't really want to send in an Engie to face down a Mantis, but. Okay, that's good. We're... The shields are taking a pounding. Okay, get them out of the room. Power that up. They took down a drone, that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, that guy can, can well on a drone all day. I mean, it's down anyway. Okay, we took down their weapons, that's good. It means we're not going to, well, we didn't take them down, but we slowed them down at least. Should reduce the rate at which we're taking damage off them. That's not good. No, we need that guy dead. You go in there and sort that out. You go in there and sort that out. Hopefully there's no fires. Keep those shields down. Oh, did they beam him back? Or did they beam someone else on board? They beamed him back. Okay, everyone back to stations. So you, you're gonna repair that. Okay, one more volley of um, blasters and we should have them down. Hell yeah! That was a bit close. Get everything repaired. Good to go. We actually have a lot of drones. I mean, like, I am using them, but it might be worth selling one or two of them just to get some additional cash if we get the opportunity. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go around there because it's one, two, three jumps. And if there's something really good here, we'll find out about it. Okay. A young mantis in child uniforms and teleports into the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the Engi and offers to... So yeah, we've got a choice here. So we've got a normally hostile species basically begging for mercy from a normally passive species. And we can either fight an Engi ship or agree to offer up the mantis in exchange for a bounty. So he could turn on us. That's a possibility. That's a definite possibility. And I think it's the most likely, but maybe I'm being, you know, specious. <laughs> but if he is on our side, we end up with an extra crew member. Yes, we've gained a crew member. Good. Okay, where are we going to put you? We have you doing door lockdown all the time. 
This is a pretty tough ship. Um, it has two um, defensive drones. No teleporters. But it, oh, actually, it has an ion system. They can use it to take down a shield and then a laser that would then do systems damage. Um, yeah, we're going to struggle to do any damage against this guy. So let's just let's just beat it. I guess we got we got what we came for. Got a reward. Let's just get out of here. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. You help help out on that just in case we need it. In fact, you all crowd in there with your little mantis hands and help them out. Back to stations. Wait, I didn't know this could go through shields. What the heck? Come on, charge! Yes! We can get out of here. Okay, we know there's nothing in that one. There might be nothing in that one. There's likely to be nothing in that one. Nothing. And it looks like there's nothing interesting in that one either. Is everything back up to normal? Are we all good? We're all good. Should be able to visit that distress beacon on the way back. Okay, what are we up against here? Double missile launchers. Double shields. This does not bode well. This does not bode well. Let's do what we can though. Let's drop power to the med bay to power a combat drone. And we really, really want those shields down. Actually, let's focus all weapons on the shields because this combat drone will um, will sort of pepper them with um, damage continuously once the shields are down. Oh my! Keep wailing on their shields. They got two people repairing. That's not good. Okay, yeah, so now the shields are totally down, this repair drone can just, just completely go to town on them. Let's not um, allow surrender. Okay, that, that came out pretty good. What do we get? Mm, I think we probably broke about even then, because we're going to have to repair a hull more now. Do a quick healing. Back to stations. And jump. I'd say we're doing pretty well here and that we've got a lot of crew. Ah, okay, yeah, we actually use our Angi crew member to repair the station and they just gave us tons of money for basically no risk. I like that kind of uh, encounter. Okay, we come across a large trade station, but the warning goes out saying that. Oh, okay, uh, saying that you know, like um, they will only serve the rebels, and we tried searching for a, a store that would help us, but um, a rebel ship is on the way. However, wait, what the heck is that thing? I was gonna say this looks this looks like pretty uh, pretty lightweight, but what the heck is that? We want to go all in on that weapon system because it looks pretty sus. Yeah, they've got no shields. So our... Um, oh, wait, our guy's attacking our oxygen. That's pretty ballsy. Um, we don't want to put the mantis in there because they'll straight up kill him. Hopefully he won't be able to do enough damage to it to do, you know, take it down. Okay, the weapon systems are totally down now. 
He's now leaving, so we can send in the Mantises to repair what he's done. Okay, everyone back to the stations. Good, 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 good. That guy can repair the oxygen, no problem. We're amassing quite a lot of money. Quick heal up for everyone involved. That went okay, that went okay. It's usually a good idea to basically isolate people who are being um, mind controlled because you know, they will fight with the others and hurt themselves. And whatever systems damage they do, it's usually a lot easier to repair than um, you know, dealing with a dead crew member. Okay, civilian or abandoned? I'm thinking civilian, right? I mean, our hull is low, we don't want to go anywhere crazy. Get to Sector 5 with no system or reactor upgrades. Okay. Okay, we have to go for a nebula, pretty much. I don't usually go for nebulas. Okay. We have no idea where the intruders are. Oh, now we do. Yeah, send everyone to deal with the intruder, because there's no ship to deal with. It should be easy. Dead easy. <laughs> Having two mantises is really paying off, actually. Okay. It's still making noises like there's someone here. Where are they? Is there someone here? You know, let's put someone in every room as much as we can. No, I don't think there is. Oh, I guess the danger might be talking about the nebula. Okay, good. We dealt with all the intruders. I just misinterpreted the situation. Oh, oh, we have a store. We can go spend our um, ill-gotten gains. What do we have? We've got more crew. That could be pretty useful. That could be very useful. Oh, so many good breach missiles. We've got a difficult choice here. Hang on, let's just have a look at the status of our ship. So if I didn't have a crew member, what could I do with them? The answer is not a lot. Yeah, if they're not a rock to complete the um, you know, to complete the, a rock or a slug to complete the full set, every station that can be manned is already manned. Let's fix all first of all. That'll make things easier. Use up some of our money. You know, call me crazy. I'm gonna go for a crew teleporter, and then can I sell something? I'll sell that, and I'll buy another mantis. We are going to start beaming mantises onto our onto enemy ships. Okay, let's have these guys on standby. In here, make those new crew positions. It's a dangerous job, someone's got to do it, and it's not me. I could go this way and see if we can get some more cash to spend in the store, but I think it's a bit of a risk with this line coming in. I'm going to take the quickest route for the nebula because, you know, our new strategy of beaming people aboard to you know, murder is not going to work super great. Oh, I should have bought some fuel. Okay. I think you can beam through shields, right? Let's send them in there. Let's put them in the smallest room possible because that means they can't overwhelm us with numbers. And let's try and take down their oxygen supply because that'll cause them a real headache. Now we will win this hand-to-hand -hand fight because we're mantises. 
the same time, let's... what are we going to go for? Let's try and stop them attacking us. I think that's going to be our primary objective here. Yep, that distracted them. Now we can massacre that remaining guy. Probably going to want to beam them back in a sec, because their health is getting a bit low. Yeah, let's let's get them on the move just to kind of like um, just so they can't finish the mantises off, and then beam them back aboard for healing. And then you guys go to the sick bay and you cycle in. Actually, no, you should go about that. It's useful seeing where they are. Help up repairs. Getting the weapon systems are down. The strategy is a bit, yeah, a bit tough. But it means that we're actually managing to reduce the amount of damage we're taking just because, you know, we're able to cause them such an irritation. I like the fact that it goes straight through shields. That's very useful. You guys back in there. We're ready to beam you back aboard. You want to be careful, you don't want to destroy the ship with them on it. Ideally, you actually want to eliminate their crew, because if you eliminate their crew entirely, without destroying the ship, um, it, you know, um, means you can recover more, um, more, uh, much more valuables. But it doesn't work on the final boss, because the final boss is an automated mode. Also, they can warp away with your crew on board. Hmm, they're, they're doing a very good job of cycling people in there in the med bay. Same for that next. Okay, they're taking a beating, it's beating them back. Build them back up. Might not be able to get through this one without losing their, you know, without destroying their ship, but we'll find out. Yeah, they're healing much too fast. Let's take down the shields, I think. Oh no, we missed, damn it, because we're running pretty low on missiles. And fuel. Okay, let's power up some more stuff. I think we can take out their um, the helmsman. Oh, we need this power back up though faster. Oh man, missed again. Yeah, kill him! Kill him! Kill! Oh, it's annoying that the AI is actually doing a really good job of cycling people in there. It means we kind of can't, kind of can't finish them off. We'll need them out of there. Bin back up. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if rocks or manti are, are better. Can I move this between rooms? Because like it's kind of annoying. I've only got two. I can only beam two of my three at a time. Kind of cool if I could beam them all. Okay, we're out of missiles. We're probably not going to be able to get through that shield without them. And we can't do enough damage to actually straight up kill them. So I guess we just move on. Kind of annoying, but... It's what it is. Oh, yeah, well, I think we need to run from this one as well. This is, this is 
This is way too much. We can't we can't beat this guy. Real, realistically speaking. That said, the crew are pretty weak looking. And they don't have a med bay. I wish we were charged up before we uh yeah you know, went on our little journey, but it is what it is. I think with the missiles and the burst lasers I'm gonna get for the shields, so let's beam them into Oh they've got super shields, we need to take those down. Right, okay. That's annoying, but we can deal with it. Oh we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a beating in the meantime though. We kind of need the med bay backup, so those two guys can get sorted out. Okay, now we can beam in. And what are we going to go for? I want the weapons down as a main priority. They should absolutely destroy those Zengi. Oh dear, we need... Uh, you go fix that. You go man that. Okay, this isn't going super well. My new strategy might be a bit complicated for me to keep uh, keep running. One of the things that can happen is your combat drones can actually kill your own crew on board an enemy ship, so you need to be careful of that. Oh god, everything's going very wrong. Okay, we need to beam those guys back ASAP because one of them is seriously hurt. Yeah, let's beam those guys back. And then some straight to the med bay. Oh god, this is going poorly. Oh no! Man, I, I swear I've beaten this game multiple times. I'm getting my ass kicked. Is it like the advanced content or do I just, do I just suck at this game now? Okay, um, you can go help out in there. Whoa, that's tons of damage, whoa. I might knock this game down to easy to and get my ass kicked. Okay, your next job is to fix this. Actually this, get this repaired. Oh no! Okay, oh, I, I can't control my remaining crew. I wouldn't see if my remaining crew would massacre them. Well, um, I think that makes that for today. Um, that didn't go as well as planned. Um, I hope your Saturday goes better than mine just did. And we'll pick some tomorrow morning and see if we can get to the end of the game because, oh. It was going really well, we've got to go crew together. And I've tried that teleporter thing before and I remember it being really, really effective. I might have had rocks though and I think rocks might be more effective at hand to hand. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow and if not then, Monday at 7pm for more Resident Evil Code Veronica X.